This video will show you how to install an eccentric cam lock mounted industrial bearing. Warning: When using the eccentric cam lock, it must be tightened down in direction of shaft rotation and cannot be used on a shaft that reverses rotation. First, check your shafting to ensure it is clean, round, straight, free of burrs and nicks, and is not undersized per manufacturer's specifications. If necessary, lubricate the bearing bore and or shaft to help facilitate assembly. If it is necessary to tap or press units on the shaft, use a hardwood block, soft steel bar or tube against the inner ring. Do not strike or exert pressure on the housing or seals. With both bearing units on the shaft, locate the shaft in position. Lightly bolt the housings to the mounting structure. Bridge over housing mounting bolt slots with heavy flat washers or heavy spring lock washers, which may help prevent loosening. Prior to securing the bolts, establish the final position by aligning the bearing units by hand or rubber mallet. Once properly aligned, securely bolt both units to the mounting structure. Ensure that the shaft can move axially through the bearing bores to confirm proper alignment. If this cannot be done, then loosen the housings and realign the shaft. If using an expansion unit, Lock the fixed bearing first, with the collar fully seated against the inner ring face. Tighten down in direction of shaft rotation until snug. Utilizing a hammer and punch, rotate the collar until tight. Tighten the set screws to the proper torque value. If torque wrench is not available, tighten the set screws until a permanent twist is established on the Allen wrench. If using an expansion unit, center the cartridge of the expansion bearing by hand. Tighten the collar screws on the expansion unit using the same method as the fixed bearing. For full service instructions, visit our website, www.rexnord.com documentation, call 1-866-REXNORD, or download the Bearing Mobile Pro app for Apple and Android devices.